we're going to head into Kush, which is Edmonton's Somali, Ethiopian, Eritrean, uh, Sudanese district. And uh, that's where most of the novel takes place. So it's a beautiful place. It is, it's also a humble place in many ways. Uh, a lot of these uh, uh, folks are recent immigrants and they don't have a lot of money. A lot of them fled to very terrible conditions overseas and are making a new life for themselves right here in E-Town. Edmonton has um, a lot of various African national communities. There's African Americans who came up in the turn of the century. There's a lot of people from Jamaica, uh, Nigeria, and so forth. But uh, maybe the community is about 40 to 45,000 in total from all those African communities. But the largest one is the Somalis. And they're relatively new. There's about, the estimate is 10 to 15,000 Somalis in Edmonton. The Alchemist of Kush, the, the main story, which takes place right here in E-Town in Kush, the central character is named Raphael Garang who is Sudanese, he's a teenager. His life is a mess as a result of having been in one refugee camp after another when he was little, and then coming to E-Town and being in a situation of deprivation. He's actually half Somali. His mother is Somali, his father is dead. But because he does not look Somali, he looks Dinka, he's not accepted in the Somali community as one of them. He speaks Somali, uh, he knows the culture, but He's really alone in the world and he's cut off from his Dinka side. So he and a friend of his, a Somali friend by the name, he's a crazy kid named Jackie Chan, he calls himself, his name is Jamal. They end up being saved, actually right here at this location on a Saturday night in a, this neighborhood that is sometimes dangerous as there's been violence that has swept through the Somali community. They end up being saved by a, a man who's just starting to open his stores, who's working on it late at night. He's kind of a mixture of Morpheus and, and, uh, and Malcolm X. And he reveals to them a mystical system, a knowledge system that uses numbers and letter combinations as well as Afrocentric history in order to get them to clean up their own acts. And then they form a community organization called the Alchemists, which the youth call the Street Falcons. And it, it, it draws in elements of ancient Egyptian history, modern African realities, and helps them to sort themselves out through the myriad crises that they face and also to, to really raise their imaginations above the level of the ghetto in order to imagine becoming anything they want to be.